Hey guys, Sean B here. Today we're playing around with the newly buffed Wind Bison, or I should call him Saga. I think this guy is going to be meta very, very soon as a Wind Bruisers controller. His skill 1 can now scale with HP, which makes perfect sense for a Bruisers. His skill 2 can now defense break only for one turn, but it has two turn cooldown, which makes him a very strong support because you only need defense break for one turn to have a follow up to one shot the enemy unit. Skill 3 can strip all buff, not one like Okeanos, but all, and then reset enemy to max cooldown, and then push back the entire enemy team attack bar. So it's a very, very strong unit that can control the enemy, set up for others unit, and then provoke to save the Swishy unit on your team, or just to disturb the enemy with the provoke. He awakened into accuracy, which makes him even better as a control unit. In my opinion, you don't really need to build him like a super heavy damage dealer because he has so much utility in his skill set that whether he does damage or not, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. And now if you have Saga, you can definitely put him in this spot instead of Ethna to become that unit that strip for Vigor and then control the enemy team. Being able to strip and then reset, he's going to be a very strong counter to unit with revive passive like Odin or Perna. So you go in, you strip, reset the target, you push back the attack bar of the other unit if you can, and then you go in with the damage that you have prepared for the enemy. So imagine that as a Perna, uh, Theomas, an Odin, a Samath, a Tyrannus. They're all gonna die to the strip reset and then follow up damage. For RTA, my build will be speed HP HP as well, violent blade, because I know I'm going first with the team I have on my hand right now, so I don't need to run wheel runes. But if you can run wheel runes, definitely try to run wheel runes. If you're running some sort of single target strip, then he's probably gonna be the last one to move in the speed tuning order. So let's say Okeanos strip, Barbara strip, and then Saga strip, and then push back three unit attack bar, and also reset one target skill. And after that, it's gonna be the end if you land your shit. He fit really, really well into the meta that has speed lead, single target strip, and then control. So this guy's actually slow cleaving. I know exactly what is the weakness of slow cleaving, which is Okeanos and single target strip. And I also have a Chiwu. Damn, that guy is doing the slow cleave thing. And I know exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna go in with another damage dealer and then some sort of anti-control mechanic. Maybe Juno, maybe Vert. No, he's actually gonna be a fast cleave. No way, no speed lead. If I'm taking turn one, then he's definitely having a problem with this. So what I would do against a cleave like this is I ban one of the damage dealer and then I control the other two. So we're gonna ban now the Seema here. He's gonna ban Chiwu because Chiwu is pretty much a false ban if you don't pick up a Vert. And let's see if I can beat my own style. <laughs> With Saga, I pretty much have two Okeanos. Okay, it's definitely what I like to do. So first off, we're gonna try to strip the Belenus. Boom, boom. And then we're gonna try to... Shit, what do I wanna do here? We're gonna try to strip this guy, boom, boom. And then we're gonna strip the Poseidon, reset his skill, and also take the attack bar of the rest of the team away. And that's about it. I think he should have played through, but he didn't. Because my CR was about to move, I bombed the Belenus, and that is pretty much over. He lost Poseidon's skill, Belenus is gone, and there's nothing that Tiana and Changpeng can do alone. I know exactly what I'm weak against. Ooh! Pontos, oh my god, the speed lead immunity buffer. Oh wait, Fran is also a speed lead immunity buffer, but Fran only has 10%. Oh my god, is that a light dragon? What the hell? I wanna go with Savannah. We're gonna go all in, okay? We're gonna ban our enemy speed lead. He banned out the Chiu. Chiu is always false ban. So we have three strip in total. All right, what's the weird situation? We have full will. Oh my goodness. So I need to... I need to... I need to do the Gany, okay? I need to do the Lulu. I don't think the dragon is gonna kill me. Oh my god, I missed the Lulu. 
I need to reset Oki, push back Gany. Good. And then I'm going to try to... There's no point trying to defense, right? Because Lulu is going to cleanse, right? So I'm just going to provoke. All right. It's whatever. Oh, really unfortunate here. So right now, my bomb, I can try to do it on Oki. <laughs> uh, going first, not very fun sometimes. Definitely. So here comes the immunity. And here comes the dragon. It's going to do big damage. Is the damage buff going to be that crazy? Is he going to one-shot me? Oh my god! He just almost took out my Ciara! That's crazy! Dude, that's crazy damage right there. That was no joke. He almost one-shot the Ciara from, from 100 to 0. That was nuts! Oh my god! Yo, this Ciara is not weak. I can assure you, this Ciara is not... Oh my god! If he get another turn, if... If he get another turn, I'm 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 dead. I'm literally dead. And Lulu is healing him back to full. And I can't stop him. Shit, I need to violent. If I violent, I can actually reset him. Oh no violent. I have to eat it. I have to eat it. There's no way around this. There's no way around this. Okay, I can try to kill Lulu here. I'm not. Why did I want Sierra so much again? Why did I want Sierra so much? Oh my god, please don't kill me. Oh my god, I have two. I have a chance. I have a chance to come back from this. Okay, okay, we kill this dragon. We're gonna push back the attack bar of the of the Gany. We're gonna defense break the Gany. The defense break is gonna be important because my Barbara is gonna crit. Watch. Pew. <laughs> oh my god, the light dragon. That gave me a heart attack right there. That did so much damage. Ooh, what is that first pick? Those were not buffed? Were they? <laughs> were they buffed? How come I don't remember anything? Interesting. But this time, we have Sierra Oki. We're looking good. Who's the biggest threat here? Damn, every single one of them have a lot of, a lot of utility in their kit. But immunity is gonna be the strongest. He's bending Chiwu, so I have three targets that I can strip. So, who's gonna be the scariest? I'm gonna ban the immunity because immunity goes up, then my team wouldn't be strong anymore, right? But wow, everyone over there, each one of them has AoE skill that can, can really, really make me sad. The least impactful would be Sackman. So, I'm gonna try to bomb the monkey, strip the immunity first. And then we're going to reset the Savannah. We're going to reset the Changpeng. Dude, this, this guy fits so well in the meta. Oh, and then we can provoke the... We're going to provoke the Changpeng because we missed the reset on him. We're going to bomb the monkey right here. And then detonate to say bye-bye to the monkey. Oh, the monkey is really tanky. So right now, monkey should die to dots. Changpeng is provoked. And Savannah is reset. So I'm gonna try to kill the Changpang with the debuff on him first. We're gonna try to stun right here. And that should be it. No, that's not it yet. But we can definitely say bye bye to Changpang. He fits so well into the meta, man. <gasps> he fits so well into the meta. Oh my god. If I had Ganymede right there, I could only reset two units. But because I had Saga, I reset three units. I just realized this guy is perfect to shit on me. So should I be sad? <laughs> should I be sad that this guy is gonna shit on me? Oh my god, I'm so sad right now. He's gonna shit all over me, man. So no more vert to revenge our AoE. Our Chi will make it through. So we do have our strip into AoE control into a bomb. Looking very good for us. How fast is the enemy? Wow, very fast Fran. Very fast Ethna. He's gonna go for the Ciara. Can he stun though? He's definitely stunning, but we can definitely go for the strip here. Chiwu. Are you the legendary Chiwu? Oh my god, he is the legendary Chiwu. We're gonna go for the big stun. So there are two things we need to reset. Vanessa passive and the immunity from Velajo. We're gonna reset Velajo's skill, take it away. We're gonna reset Vanessa passive. Boom, boom. Missed the Vanessa passive, which means we have to 
Can I just kill this Ethna? Potentially. Okay, almost, almost. So we're gonna kill Ethna here. Because I wanna kill Ethna again with a bomb. Actually, I don't even need to. Do I need to? I'm gonna provoke the front, so no healing available. We're gonna bomb the Ethna. And then the detonation damage is gonna be big for the front because of the defense break. And even if she get a turn, she's gonna get provoked and she can't do anything. So we're gonna focus on the front. The moment Fran go down, he has no more chance to come back from this. <laughs> he outsped me, but that was meaningless against a Chiwu, okay? More damage on the front. This game should be over the moment Okeanos get a turn, okay? We take out the front here, do more damage to Vanessa. Okeanos is going to drop that Rain of Stone, and this should be over. Damn, it's just... Saga is so good in this meta. Oh, Ragdoll. Not a fan. Not a fan. Because AoE skill to crit is Ragdoll food. Which one do I ban? I'm going to ban the front here. Okay. He's going to ban Chiu for sure. And we're going to go with Speedly. Let's go. I can strip three unit. So, except for Ragdoll, the rest can be very impactful. But Ragdoll can take a turn. I can let Ragdoll take a turn, it's gonna be fine. <clears throat> okay, let's go for the Bomber. Let's go for the Savannah. Let's go for the Lydia. We're landing everything. We are landing everything. Good. Did we take the skill away? I'm not even sure. And last but not least, I'm gonna bomb the Bomber. Do we detonate? I have to. I have to because he has skill. So Lydia and Savannah both don't have any skill available. And the biggest threat would be Lydia AoE skills. So we're going to take Lydia out first, if we can. Take some attack bar away. She's going to get a turn. She's going to hit hard though. This one's going to hit really hard. Nah, not really. No attack buff, no defense break. She's still human. <laughs> She's not superhuman. I'm going to try to take away this girl turn by provoking. We're going to put her down. Maybe get violent prop. Nope. And then more damage onto the Savannah. The lead is not very fast, so I shouldn't have much problem against her. We're gonna try to kill this Savannah as soon as we can. We're gonna bomb the Lydia. Finish the Savannah. We're gonna provoke the Lydia. <laughs> Even if she get a turn, she can't do anything. Ah, this is like so good. So if I ban this, he can. I mean, he can. That's the only thing he can do. Okay, okay, let's go. Bring it on, Ken. Bring it on. He's gonna strip. Damn, land all the strip too. Almost. He's gonna do it again. And Ken's gonna move again. To push back my attack bar again. Then Samath's gonna go in with the AoE slow debuff, right? But who can he kill though? He can't really kill anybody. He can definitely hurt my saga. But I wouldn't say that is killing me. Just yet. <laughs> so Mav has to land the reset here or else he's in trouble. Boom. Ooh, slow debuff actually land, but we're gonna steal a turn here with our Barbara. And then we do have our skill as well, poor Samav with the 80% chance. But he did took away my Saga skill and also my Ciara skill. Ooh, nice violent proc, but is that gonna matter? Is that gonna matter too much? Here it comes. Defense break. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But he, we're gonna reset her, okay? So I can actually bomb the Ken, who is probably the main damage dealer. I have my Saga to reset the Samav. We're gonna defense break here. Saga is gonna reset Samav. Please don't miss. Beautiful. Push back the attack bar. Take away the Tableau as well. And that should be it. <laughs> Interesting team though, but there's no real damage or follow-up after the can going twice, unfortunately. Alright guys, that was Saga Showcase after the buff. I really, really like this unit. I think it's gonna be crazy popular in the meta for those who have him. For those who want to go for the turn one strip reset, he's really, really strong. In my account, I also have the Wind Bison version. So I will build him like a um, slow cleave unit potentially 
to see how well he can do in that department as well. But for now, as a fast unit, he's incredible.